This is a screencast for those who are using the iGo Computer Lab for working this semester for photographic explorations. The reason why it is only for people working in the lab is because although the same thing is happening on personal computers, because personal computers do not have their hard drive set up that every time a new user logs on that shared things are purged, um, this will not affect them. But for those of you who are working in the lab, when you log on, the computer is commanded to link all shared folders to the user so that you can have things in the documents folder, you can have things in the pictures folder, and uh, have access to, to those items while you're logged on. But as soon as you log off and someone else logs on, those shared folders then become accessible to them and all of the information that you had stored there is gone. And this is in any shared folder, documents, pictures, music, everything. So you don't want to have anything saved into those on those locations on these computers because it will disappear. So what we're going to do is take that information um, that's in that shared folder, in the shared pictures folder, and move it to something that you own. In my case, it is a USB thumb drive, jump drive right here. It can be an external hard drive. Um, it can be any kind of storage device you like, but you do need to have an external storage device to place this item in. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually launch photos because as a new user, it will not create a library in the pictures folder until you've launched the software. So um, we're going to go ahead and go into the finder, go into applications, go down to photos, and open it. Um, I've opened it already, so I didn't get a tutorial. Um, you can go through that tutorial if you would like or not. Um, but since I've already opened it, it's done it. And I just skipped to get started. And now it's asking for photos. I'm not going to do anything yet. All I'm going to do is quit. Now that I've quit, I'm going to go into that shared pictures folder. And in order to do that, I have to go home. So I'm under Go, Home. Everybody who's ever logged onto this computer is listed. I'm not sure who SD, uh, SNYD is, somebody from my last class. That's their last name. You know it's you because it's your name and also because it's the home. So when this person logs on again, mine will become just a folder. Theirs will become a home. I'm going to go into Lee. I'm going to go into Pictures, and there's my Photos Library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on my jump drive. So I don't have anything here yet. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it my ARTS159 folder. And now I'm just simply going to drag that photos library to here. Should be fast because there's nothing in it. I would think it would be faster than that at only three megabytes, but oh, it's because my, ah, it's because I'm using a jump drive. If you're using a hard drive, this will be much faster. I recommend hard drives for a number of reasons. One, you don't forget them. Most people plug their thumb drives into the back of the computer, then they walk away and they leave them behind. I have a bunch of jump drives that people have left behind. Two, they're slow, as we're seeing. Very, very slow. Hard drives are much faster. Three, they fill up, and that's probably why um, this is so slow, because it's very full. So once I've got that copied over, that's great. It can just dis disappear off the, the hard drive, because I've got it. So now, every time I come into the lab to work, you'll notice that iPhotos is not down here. We don't have it in the dock, because we don't want you launching it from here. We don't want you launching it from here anymore. When you launch photos, you will go to your external device, find your library, double click, and photos will open. Slowly. Oh, it's open. Next lesson, how to import photos into photos. Pretty simple right here. But that will be the next screencast. That's it for today. Or for right now.
拜。